Look, it's so hard to be smiling. So at least I run on the check-in. Power to the patients. We stay fighting for the people, the American people. Uh, healthcare price transparency. Today we got a special short show. You know the debate is coming on at 9. We got to say a very special rest in peace to John Amos from Good Times. This man helped uh, raise us all. And so we are in debt to him. We are grateful to him, to his family. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. So many incredible memories with John Amos. And of course, the one and only Matumbo, the king of Africa. Matumbo helped so many African people where he's from, with hospitals and education. And oh my God, he might've been one of the nicest guys in the world. I knew him when he played ball with AI. Um, and so it just seems like everybody keeps dropping. Everybody keep your friends close. Keep your family close. Tell everybody you love, you love them. You know, but uh, incredible. John Amos Matumbo, be week before that, James Earl Jones, uh, Frankie Beverly. I mean, way too many legends uh, is going down. Jason Lee, what's up? Hollywood Unlocked, you got a lot to talk about. And so, um, True Kings, Carl Anthony Towns in the Knicks. Uh, my show comes on at the Stars Network. Go get the app. Go get the app. ASAP. I guess they call it ad as a moderator. Whatever the hell that means. But... Go get the app, the Stars app. This week we got the grand finale of Power. Uh, it's going down. I got a guest tonight. I told Stars I need him. He pulled up. Trying to figure it out. Send a request. Send a, it's been so long, bro. Pretty low. Power stars on the check-in. Hold on, let me let me view requests. Uh, I'm sure everybody and their mother trying to come up on this motherfucker, but we not looking for you. We looking for Michael Rainey, a.k.a. Tariq, the gunslinger. Yo, <laughs> Michael Rainey Jr., there you go, he's here. Uh, why it says there, or why it says there, but the mother of the pen on file. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to get the request going. Man, I haven't been on this motherfucking that long, huh? Go live. Second, big shout power the grand finale. There we go. Yo. <laughs> There we go. What's up? What's up, hey, guy? Let me tell you something, man. It's an honor to have you on a big, big yes. show. Yes. You know, special, yes. special week because it's the grand finale of Power. Yes, Power. Um, what does that feel like to you? Because to us, the birth of you is on Power. Right. And so, you know, we you a household name. You know what I'm saying? And we know you because you popped off in Power. So how does it feel? Is it like somebody dying? What, what does it feel like? <laughs> um, it's definitely, it's definitely a, like a, it's an emotional like thing to think about because like we've been working, you know what I'm saying? We've been working on this show forever, you know what I'm saying? Since I was, you know, before I was even a teenager. So now I'm, I'm a, a young man now. So it's just like I basically could grew up with all these people. So now that you know it's coming to the end, I damn near seen them every day of my life up until now. So it's like. Damn, that's finally, you know, that's that's coming. You gotta to feel episode. weird, right? Hell yeah, it definitely feel shit weird. Crazy, it's huh? Yeah, it's shit crazy, huh? It's shit crazy. Because it's like, yo, you've been doing this shit since you was a kid. Uh, any chances of us seeing ghosts on the grand finale? <laughs> Is your dad coming back to hug you and embrace you? Listen, man, who knows? You know, you know. Anything can happen on power. <laughs> Yo, anything can happen. 50 anything. Cent might come back, huh? Who knows? You know, you know that motherfucker. You know he might pop in and pop out real quick. <laughs> Tell me that 
run, man, with, with 50 Cent. You know, you guys got a whole unique, they call y'all the power universe. And, and y'all family, he throws this weekend in, in Shreveport and y'all out there deep. Mm -hmm. And y'all come out on stage with him. And this, this kind of family, this camaraderie y'all built together is beautiful to see. Yeah, for sure. And uh, so tell me about that, man. 50 Cent giving you the opportunity. Um, tell me about that. Listen, man, it's crazy because, you know, like like you said, it's like a it's a whole universe of people. You know, we got, what, three, four different shows. And, um, you know, we all just grew. Like, you know, we all created bonds. Like me, Makai, me, London, me, you know, even everybody from all the, all the shows, me, Da Vinci, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody came together and, like, and we all had, like, you know, just one one similar goal you know we was just you know we was there to you know put the best product out for you know for 50 for the for you know to get out to the network and we was all just connected on that and everybody was just you know just grew up on and it was it was dope it's fine you know you know what's crazy is you know i'm a big game of thrones fan mm -hmm. um and they let me down this year on their grand finale we are definitely mm -hmm. not going to be let down <laughs> on this year's grand finale i mean tell the people why they gotta tune in by the I think I think you're gonna break a record. I think you get twenty million people tuned in this weekend. You think we go that big? You think we go that big? Yeah, yeah. I feel Hell like yeah. I feel like they definitely anticipating a lot of crazy because the last episode was wicked. Last episode was insane. Like so you know we gotta go even crazier for ten. We gotta go wow. even crazier. Oh. So, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot of shit going on. <laughs> Lot, but with you, you always got some shit going on, man. Mm -hmm. Like you can, your character <laughs> on this. I think from now to the end of your life, this is the most wicked character ever because mm -hmm. you say this is shit every time <laughs> I watch. I be like, damn, Tariq, but why? <laughs> why you want to pop or Why you? And you think of the craziest shit mm -hmm. in the world. <laughs> and um, then even last episode. Where he, you know, he got it set up perfectly and then he started talking too much. <laughs> and then Carter get the gun and all type of crazy. He, he had him right there. He could have had the, the mission title right nah, there, but. Nah, it's, <laughs> yo, listen, bro, you have been. But you always first of all, a joy to watch. It's been beautiful to watch you guys all this time. Everybody who participated, Joseph Sakura, Tommy, uh, 50, uh, Mari, uh, Mary J, she became a legend. Oh, how many years, um, how many years Monet been on on the show? It's been, well, yeah, since season one, so it's like four, four years, four years, Man, four years. Man, it feels like, it feels like, feel like forever. <laughs> she been on forever. Forever. She don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy, because, like, with such a staple name, like, like Mary J. Blige, people in the streets be calling her Monet now. It's like, yo. <laughs> Yeah. And then when people be asking me if I get annoyed when people call me Tariq, I'm like, yo, how could I be annoyed when they calling me Tariq if they call me I know, me I know you're way too young. Maybe your parents, mm -hmm. definitely your parents, but you're too young. But John Amos from Good Times, you know, he raised us. Mm -hmm. You know, as kids, we used to watch Good Times and it would be inspirational. And he was like a black father present. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh did you know enough of John Amos, or he's just too way before your time? I don't know. I don't, I don't know much about him. I got to do my homework. I got to do my homework on John man, Amos. I ain't going to lie. Man, it was amazing. He died today. You know what wow. I'm saying? Well, not today. They announced he died today. But um, with us, think of what power is for this generation. Mm -hmm. You know, but that was more nice guy. But he had a lot of shit in there that. He, he always made the right decision as a father, man. And mm -hmm. we didn't see that too much. A lot of us grew up without our dads and stuff like that. So shout out to John, John Amos. Uh, what's the future look like for you? Um, yeah. Are you already anticipating the future? Or are you still right here? No, I'm, 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 looking, I'm looking at the future now. Obviously, now that we got, you know, some time. I'm ready to start bouncing around doing some, you know, different type of roles and like getting into films like independent films, you know, st stuff like that. Like I just finished filming a um a movie in uh, New Orleans with Chloe Bailey, YG, Saray McNeil. It's like a like a horror slash like slasher type movie, like some crazy shit like that, like gory and stuff like that. 
So I'm like, you know, I'm 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 just trying to do like different shit now. You know, I'm trying to just branch out and kind of be looked at in a in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I think you can do everything. You could be a badass motherfucker too. Still, motherfuckers <laughs> attuned right back into you like that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The art of acting is you could be whatever you want. Like I always wondered why nobody ever cast me as a, a school bus driver. Some right. Shit. Like, they always got Fat Joe killing somebody. I'm in jail or. You know, they typecast me like a motherfucker. Mm. You know what's crazy is this weekend is the grand finale of Power, but it's also the beginning, the birth of my TV show, Fat Joe Talks. Mm -hmm. So right after Power, it you goes right into on? Fat Joe Talks. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. And my first guest is Method Man. That's going to be dope. And what a role he played with you. Empower being your lawyer slash he's almost like your second father to me. Yeah, <laughs> literally, especially in this season where he's helping helping Reek with like Zion and everything and he's like he's basically guiding him, like, you know, being that one person that Tariq don't really have in a circle, you know, he's over there helping him and, and it's tough. It's tough to see that shit. He being you know, like on both sides. He you know, he's a living legend, an icon with us with rap music, mm -hmm. but you know, he just he told me he took he took this acting shit so serious and went, got lessons, and and now uh he's a big boy in acting. No, yeah, he's different. I ain't gonna lie, he's different different, man. I ain't gonna lie, he's tough. And he take it serious. Like he don't just come to set like, okay, let's just, you know what I'm saying? Like he come to set and he's he's about his business on set. I ain't gonna lie. And he and he's just making sure like everything. Copacetic, like he be, I know he it's crazy. That. Shout out my man Kevin Moore watching for Power to the Patients. We did a PSA, a commercial for Power to the Patients. You know, mm -hmm. hospitals overcharging the American people, 100 million people in debt. But it was me, Ross, French, and I think Buster and Method Man. And we like, yo, they robbing us. Yo, they this, <laughs> this. And Method Man's like, these hospitals <laughs> are taking full advantage. I say, yo, this guy. <laughs> yo, yo that boy, he's trying to <laughs> let you know mm -hmm. he shakes me. Yeah, now nah, he, yo, he could snap into a whole different type of roles, and it's so tough to see him in in the lawyer role because he portrays so well. Like, and he got the little, you know, the little edge to him where he in like the, the little legal shit too. So he played it both so like so perfectly. Nah, he's, he, he he's a great. Who was your favorite to work with mm -hmm. on? on power after all these years mm -hmm. is it the, is your mom's is it your sister who, who is who is your favorite to work with mm -hmm. man that's a that's a crazy question i i, I gotta say um it's a few because it's, it's it's a few because it's, it's for different reasons like i would say one um 50 you know because Kanan and Tariq scenes was always them doing some crazy, like, mm -hmm. funny shit, you know what I'm saying, robbing some shit or, you know, doing something crazy, you know what I'm saying? And obviously, you know, being on set with 50 for, you know, for, for hours, you just be chopping it up. I'm getting knowledge from him and stuff like that. Like, he tell you dropping gems and all of that stuff. So that stuff is dope. But as far as, like, you know, working, obviously, obviously Omari, because, you know, me and Omari, we just be locked in. Like, you know, our scenes be super intense. Um... I would say Notori too. Me and Notori scenes are, are definitely, definitely very intense and emotional. But um, it would be tough to say who my favorite was because it, it, you know it's all for different reasons. Like me and Gianni. Yo, but well, you stayed with, with some girls. I kept seeing you with the chicks. <laughs> yeah. Yo, one thing they kept you was fly. Mm -hmm. Whoever mm -hmm. style, whoever did the styling. Uh, Frank power, Fleming. Yeah, is, Frank is, Fleming. Is, is they was fly. What's the name? Uh, Frank Fleming. Frank Fleming. Frank Fleming. Yeah. Is, is mean, is yeah, mean because you know I love fashion. Yeah, he but he up, kept y'all fly, all of y'all. He <laughs> Everybody. kept all of y'all fly. Even the even, even the extras and shit. Was fly. Yo, all the standards. Everybody pulling up with the fly butters. Yup. Everybody was fly. <laughs> the big puffy, the big puff Louis Vuitton coach, the the shirtless all the time. Nice. Nah, kept you fly. And what about uh uh um. The white boy, you know, you got the podcast <laughs> Gianni, together. Yeah. Yo, he's mad Gianni, yeah. cool in real life. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the and, uh, and so tell me about mm -hmm. him. You definitely look like y'all gained the chemistry mm -hmm. on TV and on this show and in real life. Tell me about your relationship. 
Yeah, G, my homie. That's my homie right there. That's my homie. It's crazy because like um, plays all the time. Like the first the first day, like we worked together on like on I think it was season four or it might have been season five. His first day was um. It was his first day, but the first day we we met each other, like we ain't even speak to each other. Like the first, the only things we said was like, "Yo, what's up?" We introduced each other, and then um, we did the lines on the on the on the for the scene, and that's it. And then after that, we ain't really speak like that. But then he came back the next year for the next season, cause I be chilling, I be chilling. Like I just let you know actors do what they do. I don't really be too talkative on set unless they approach me. So it'd be different. But the next year. I don't know what he said. He said something about like a car, or he said something about like a girl or something. I'm like, okay, he might be a normal nigga. He might not just be like so, like, you know what I'm saying? He always just want to talk about acting or some weird shit, you know what I'm saying? So, but after that, we just we, we just ended up just chilling, hanging out all the time, off set and stuff like that. And it's my boy. That's my that's my dog right there. <laughs> and listen, man, I'm so excited for the finale. Uh, and sad, you know, it's it's, mm -hmm. it's a bittersweet thing. Because we love the show so much, we want it to go forever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just the way it is. That like we feel no. like we feel like it's real, real life. Like, like yo, this shit is incredible. It's the, it's it's like we finally seen the real reflection of the streets and life. That's some exaggerated shit. Cause y'all was doing, mm -hmm. y'all was <laughs> they doing, be doing a lot of crazy shit. You know. <laughs> White boy, his family, billionaires, he's still popping off selling drugs every day. I'm like, all right, I don't know where your fleet car was good. And I don't know where, you, you, you know, it's some exaggerated shit on there. Mm -hmm. You but know what I'm saying? But a lot it of it all is all also relatable too, though. A lot of it is, you know, a lot of people could resonate with, you know, some with a lot of things that some of the characters had going on, you know. Regardless of like a lot of the like ex exaggerated shit like that, but a lot of people was relatable to a lot of the characters. No, that so I feel like that's why people fuck with it. That's a fact, and uh, I never liked when they shot La La. Yeah, that was crazy. That. that was that was crazy. That was nuts. That's that's like a moment that, for me. That was crazy. That uh, that 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 I was just like, whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they, yeah, they, body. they body la la on the yeah. joint, but it, it's also anybody can get it. Anybody, anybody. Yeah, we, we talk about fifty a lot, but what about Courtney? Courtney, I don't really know her like that. Mm. Tell me about Courtney. How she helped you? How she helped your career? How she yeah. helped the whole Power Universe? Man, Courtney is the you know Courtney is the Power Universe. You know what I'm saying? Like she, you know she. She's the creator as well, you know. She, she brought it to life, you know, the same way as everyone else did. Brought it, you know, same way as everyone else brought it to life. She's really, you know, she's the mind of everything. You know what I'm saying? She's the writer, and she brought everyone together to create a crazy story in, in what ten seasons. And she's really the one that really believed in me as well. Like Fifty believed in me for sure, and and Courtney definitely believed in me as well. So I will always appreciate it because you know they rolled the dice on me. You know, I was young at the time. They they didn't really know how I would have carried out the the character. So. Oh, no, he's really the shit. You, 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 you aced that shit, bro. You, you body yeah. that. I see you at the Nick games. Are you a real Nick fan? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I love the Knicks. I love the Do Knicks. you like the move with Randall and uh, Carl Anthony Town? It's tough. Like, you know, we're going to miss Randall. We're going to miss Dante. But it's like, you know, the game, is. you know, they got to be, you know, strategic. They got to be, you know, you know, they got to be about their business. But... I don't know. I feel like it might work out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Carl Anthony Towns gonna have to get a little more, a little more tough to be, you know, to be running with the New York boys. You know what I'm saying? You can't be on that big man, but you soft type. So you gotta, he gotta, you know what I'm saying? He gotta get rugged to be with the. Dude, he really got a bad rap like that because <laughs> whenever you got a big man who pause, don't want to bump bodies, mm -hmm. it's like, and they're finesse, mm -hmm. like an Anthony Davis. You know what I'm saying? It feels like, you know, we want to, we we need you to be tough. We need yeah. you to be uh, all that, around That way you tough. can rely on them a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? You can rely on them a little bit more because, they, you know, they got to have that that dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, you a big man, you got to set that tone. You got to come with the intensity. Like, as a big man, I feel like you got to be intense. You down there in the pain, you bumping body, you got to be intense. Like, you can't be shying away from contact, none of that shit. So you, but, you, think, you think if he plays aggressive... And Scrappy, it's a good trade. Yeah, I think he could adjust. I think he could adjust. And then he gonna open up the floor too, cause he could shoot the rock too. So that's gonna be that's gonna be good to see him and Jalen do whatever they do, like pick and pop. Yeah, I think we needed size. I think we we needed to 
consistent shot. I love yeah. Randall. I love Dante. Yeah, man. I'm but, um, I, go I guess the Knicks said, yeah, I love Dante too. And I love Randall's whole family. But I just think the Knicks said there's going to be the Brunson show. Mm -hmm. And we're going we, we gonna to play how Brunson could best mm -hmm. play. Right. You know, and so they brought in Carl Anthony Towns. Dominicano, I expect about a thousand Dominicans playing the drums in the, in the stadium. That's the outside you know? going crazy. Oh, no, them boys go crazy. Like, let a Dominican shine in New York. Oh, You're going to see some things in that garden. They're going to come crazy. up in there playing the Congos. <laughs> They're going to be wilding out. That's what and we need to see, though. Is, I'm reading all the uh, comments, and all I see is rest in peace, ghost. Yeah, rest in peace, father. Right, y'all. A lot of motherfuckers you know, died on yo, power, huh? It's a lot. Rest it's a lot. in peace, D Wiz. Yo, all I see on here is rest in peace. That's how you know like, anybody could get it in in that universe. <laughs> like, it's wicked. Yo, anybody could get it on there. But yo, I, I ain't know how much time you have, but I wanted to ask you some questions too. I'm Me? Some questions. But yeah, I would ask you. I'll be answering questions all the time. I'll, I'll be wanting to all ask right. you questions sometimes. I, so I took note of some questions I wanted to ask you. So the talk show, like what inspired you, you know, you know what I'm saying, to start the talk show? Obviously you gotta, you know, branch out and do different things, but what what about the talk show was like, okay, this this gonna be dope? Well, I'm gonna tell you what, you know, it started right here on IG, the Fat Joe, the big, big show, and COVID, we were scared to leave the crib, so we started right. interviewing everybody from Dr. <laughs> Fauci to Mike Tyson That's to La La to this. Everybody was on here, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, Stars contacted me and said, you know what, this could be a real TV show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, bet, I'm down. And my whole life, see, you got to understand that, let me give you the scenario, right? My whole life, it's like, if I'm a rapper and I walk in anywhere hood, they're going to know that's Fat Joe. Right. But I could walk in a country restaurant and they won't know who fat joe is because they listen to country just like we wouldn't know who the country singer <laughs> is even though he's big right. so my thing about tv is that it allows you and gives you more opportunity for pe people know you in north dakota they know you in nebraska mm -hmm. they know you in places where it ain't just hood just because the show's mm -hmm. hood don't mean all the fans is hood right. and so i just wanted to broaden my audience also, I wanted the people to be a fly in the wall and hear stories that's really just a conversation mm -hmm. um, between me and friends of mine, icons for years. You know, I did Mary J, I did LL, I did T.I. and Lotto, we did Offset, we did Khaled, we did... Oh, y'all going crazy. Met the man, we did, we did so many, I don't want to, I can't mention... All them, Hakeem Jeffries, the leader of the Democratic Party. I went to Washington, kicked it with him. So my shit is all icons. Mm -hmm. So every week when you look, it's going to be a big icon. It's going to be somebody else who you're really going to learn something about them. that You think you know everything, but you don't know everything. Right. And so, you know, that's pretty much uh, why. You know what I'm saying? That's my why. And, you know, of course, I want to advance the legacy. I want to take it as farther as I could take it. You know, that's what life's about for me. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. I like I like the I like the podcast. I like the talk shows because it always gets like you always get like a different type of insight on, you know, on people's minds and, you know, they their background, where they came from. And, you know, you know, stories. you know, I got an album coming out next month. It's called The World Changed On Me. Mm. Right, but I really thought I retired for three years. <laughs> right, shout out yeah, to Kuma Drake, get me back in there. But I got back up in there. The album's crazy, right? But whenever I make an album, I always put up a poster of Nas, a poster of Jay Z, and one of Eminem. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, yo, I gotta be as good as them or even better. You know, in my own mind, I could be delusional, but mm -hmm. I do that and I shoot for the stars. Now that I'm doing a talk show, I put up a poster of Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. That's that. She's the one. That's it. Right? That's it. That's it. So, only, yeah, only Oprah. So I want y'all to know, I am not fucking around. <laughs> like you know, I'm going for the the best talk show ever lived. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my shit. Uh that's my shit. That's that's what I'm going for. I always go to hit a grand slam. You know what I'm saying? That's and. On fire. 
I'm, it's gonna be fire. Be fire. It's, you got you got all type of people in there. I was gonna ask like, what, what, um, like, are you like, are you only focusing on like artists and 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 you know, like music and film? But you already said you got all type of people. People from Democratic Party leaders of Democratic parties, all yeah. type of shit. So you go, you going all over the place. Now we going nasty. crazy because <laughs> I got to show them. You know what I'm saying? Because they think when you say hip hop journalists, they think it's the same old, same old. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I sat down with the Democratic leader, Hakeem Jeffries, and kicked it with him all about politics and real mm -hmm. policy and how does it affect the hood and and just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But everybody I do put on my show will be iconic. This isn't the show that you look at and they bring the talking dog. Or they, they <laughs> and then you're wondering, them. like, yo, who this? Like, who, they, who they, you talking to? Today, they, right? they show you a meal, they put it in the oven, and one second later it comes out nah. brand new. Now we ain't Icons doing that only. shit. Icons, icons only. <laughs> only, bro. Yo, legendary icons. Fine. Icons only. That's all we got. That's you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Yo, thanks for coming on, man. I know everybody cool. want to see the debate. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Power, it's the grand finale. It's crazy. And then right after, we got Fat Joe Talk. Oh, yeah. I'm I got your man. Tuned in. Yo, I'm I got Method in. Man and Butcher Bonsa. I'm telling you. Oh, you got I two on with... one episode? Or, or it's like two two episodes? Mostly um, Method like... Man and then, and, then, and then I got a segment with Boozy. Because oh, Boozy is my brother. And they finally let him back in America. I yeah. never thought they would ever do it. Yeah. So I showed up to his first concert, run the cameras, mm. and got to it with my brother Bougie. So, yeah, like, you know, on the T.I. episode, we go to Trap Museum and we go to L.A. It's also a traveling show. Oh, that's tough. So I fly to oh. L.A., I fly to um, Atlanta, I fly here to Miami, I fly to everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere not I, I want to go, <laughs> I want to go to the UK and get it in with Central C mm -hmm. and the top boy guys out there, and, and, mm -hmm. and you know, just everywhere. I just want to go everywhere You're not and talk to around. the people. You're not fucking around. No, I'm not fucking around. That's on stars. Go download the app. Yes, sir. I'm sure everybody out here already got the app. Yes, sir. Go get the motherfucking app. And uh, Power the Grand Finale, I can't wait till this comes on. And I don't try to cheat. You know I know E. Rivera, <laughs> but I don't try to tell him, yo, slip me the episode or something <laughs> like that. Now you be wanting to know. You want me to know when everybody else know. I want to know when everybody know because otherwise it's whack. Mm -hmm. Then because you're going to hear everybody talk about this shit. It's like it's, you already know. It's, you can't even be part of the conversations and shit. It's over. I see you at a Nick game, my brother. God bless you. Yes, sir, brother. Peace. Hey. Appreciate you having me up here, man. Ah, uh, my brother, always. All right. Man.